Hi there and welcome back to Dukoscopy TV. Today I'm joined by Giles Prince from Bank Privy Edmund de Rothschild to discuss how to use structured products. So Giles, I believe you are co-managing a fund that invests across all asset classes. First of all, can you tell me what are the best ways to use structured products? Uh, yes, sure. Um, that's quite a difficult question actually. There are many, many ways to use uh, structured products. Um, the first thing I like to say is that there's really nothing magic about structured products. It's an investment like any other. So really, it starts with uh, having first um, uh, a market view. You need a scenario. And then, once you have the scenario, you can decide on what kind of structured product you, you want to use. Um, I think to do the reverse and look at uh, a product and then, and then decide to invest just because um, they are attractive pricing conditions, I think that can be really dangerous. Um, then the second thing is to know that a structured product is nothing else than the, the repackaging or the rebundling of cash and, and derivatives products. So it means it can be really complex. So you need to understand all the factors, all the risks that will uh, impact the prices, uh, the prices of the structured product. Uh, it really makes a, a difference if you want to avoid you know, bad surprises. So once you have a market view, once you understand really the product, then you can decide on what kind of product you want to use. So basically, the sky is, is the limit. You can structure anything you want, but you can categorize products. You can have you know, defensive products, where you have some form of capital protection, or you can have very aggressive products, uh, just participation with leverage. Or you can have something in between if you believe the market is in a range, you can have yield enhancements products where basically you get some, some coupons over the life of the product. So these are really, I would say, the main, the main ways. What, what we do in, in our fund is um, we try to achieve um, the highest um, number of, you know, of diversification benefits. If you invest across different asset classes with different payoff structures, different types of structured products, then you can really achieve a stable portfolio um, and also access markets or asset classes that you cannot access simply going into the market. For example, uh, we do investments in, in volatility, in correlation, uh, in dividends or, or inflation, uh, things that are not directly accessible uh, through structured products. You know, the general rule is if you can replicate the structured product yourself simply going into the market, I believe there is no point uh, investing in structured product. It has to be something special about it. And what are the main opportunities that exist with structured products? Well, I believe there are plenty of opportunities right now in the markets. And, and the reason is, you know, the market is, is moving from risk on to risk off. And really market sentiment is, is, driving, is driving returns. And we're moving from one extreme to the other. So each time we, we believe we'll reach or we're close to one of those extremes, uh, then there are attractive pricing conditions for structured products. And if you can spot those entry points, um, the chances you get the right product uh, in the right asset class, obviously, are, are quite high. And this is what we, we're trying to do. So we have had nice opportunities in the past and really believe it will continue at least until your end. Um, so that's, uh, that's, uh, that's one of the opportunities, definitely. So to give you just a few examples of opportunities we had, uh, when volatility was extremely high um, and the curve of um, the VIX future was quite flat, um, then we, we took the view that it would steepen again and we could enter into the market and realize some, some nice profits. Um, other examples is at those extreme points of risk off, the correlation between equities were, was so high that it made sense to enter into some structured products that would take um, advantage of those very high correlation. So to be more accurate, right now, um, we, we have uh, started to, well, a little bit reducing risk in, 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 in the fund and as we, we have had a nice, uh, a nice rally recently in the markets.
And Giles, now let's look at risks. What risks are associated with structured products at the moment? Well, you know, as I mentioned before, structured products are very complex. So you have many, many factors that will influence the, the prices of or the returns of, of those products. So really, you, know, you need to understand all the different risks that will affect the products. Obviously, in the market, uh, markets are moving really fast th these days. Uh, so I would say these are the usual risk of tru structured products because these are investment risks. You know, structured products are actually OTC products. Um, so the pricing of those structures when you first invest in, in, in the products have to be checked. Same for the mark to market uh, in the future. And that's what we do in the fund. As they are very complex, we have some independent uh, pricer um, that, it are, that are checking the prices each time we do evaluation for the fund. And finally, Jaws, what is your short and long term outlook for the Eurozone? How will it affect structured products? Well, you know, what, what is really amazing is that the, the long term of yesterday is the short term of today. Uh, if you rem remember one year ago, when speaking about Greece, um, it was, it was say, the people were saying, uh, if s there is contagion in Spain, then this is done, mm -hmm. right? Um, and, and since then, I believe all the problems have been delayed and we're there where there is contagion in Spain. So it seems when you just look at things that it is a never ending story. Um, so, you know, to answer your question, short term, I'm quite pessimistic about all the Eurozone problems um, because also there is a lot of intention of doing something. Uh, all the problems are just delayed and we don't see the end of it. Long term, I really believe they will get, they will get out of it and there's no, no other option. Um, the path to get there is really the, the big question. Honestly, so the impact on structured products. Well, I believe we will see more of the same. You know, one extreme to another extreme, risk on, risk off, and nice opportunities to enter into some structured products. The key is that those episodes are are really quick. So when there, when you go, go into into structured products, there is a maturity, and the whole thing is to select the appropriate maturity. Uh, related to our view. So if the markets are really moving too fast and then stays at one point, um, it will be difficult to get into the right type of product. Um, the other thing is about credit risk. Uh, as those products are issued by investment banks, uh, you need to consider the, the credit risk related to banks. Um, I'm, I would say, less concerned uh, about it uh, because of the, the recent um, uh, actions of uh, the European Central Bank. I think that risk has been somewhat mit mitigated. Also, we still need to monitor, monitor that closely. Thank you very much, Giles. Welcome. And thank you for watching Dugascopy TV. Now do stay tuned for more exclusive interviews and press reviews. But for now, goodbye.